Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Trina Robinson. And I'm Jackie Nesprol. NBC6 reporter Ari Adger is live in Fort Lauderdale with more on their incredible efforts. Ari. Well, you know what, guys? In the weeks since Dorian decimated parts of the Bahamas, we've done dozens of stories about relief flights and shipments of emergency goods going there to help the people who need it the most. This is the first time we're seeing planes flying there loaded with school supplies because finally, actually, some schools are starting to reopen, even in the devastated Abacos. We have probably $10,000 or more of school supplies here, laptops that are desperately needed to get online programming going for high school students. It's amazing. It really, it makes me feel wonderful that people in South Florida have stepped up like this. Two airplanes flying to Abaco filled with supplies for kids and teachers who are desperately hoping for things there to be normal. They're truly remarkable. They're, they're dealing with a lot um, as far as, you know, just students who are completely homeless now and trying to put the pieces back together. Hey, can you guys show that to me? What do you think? It's awesome. Wow. A group of students and teachers came to the airfield in Marsh Harbor eager to show their appreciation. Any kids still on the islands are now going to the three schools which have reopened. I don't have any of the kids that I was supposed to have before the storm, but I have all new Marsh Harbor students that had lost their school. The Abacos are smashed beyond recognition. Locals like Cindy Pinder say without donations from the USA, no one could survive there. It still doesn't register that this is our community, that everything's gone, that everybody who's worked their entire lives has lost everything they own. School supplies. Chris Allen owns air flight charters. He's flown over 100 relief flights since Dorian wrecked the area. And really, that's the first thing, I think, in, uh, in rebuilding is getting the schools rebuilt, getting the supplies over there, getting the teachers back. I've talked with a ton of kids over there, and they all want to go back to school. I was like, are you guys happy that school's out? They're like, no, we're not happy that school's out. We want to be in school. And now that's happening. It's back to school week in the Abacos.